In this video, we are going to find eigenvalues for a given matrix. Before going to that topic, for any equation, for any equation, when you are solving that equation, we can find the solutions. That solutions are called roots of that equation. Basically, if it is a cubic equation, we can get three roots. If it is a quadratic equation, we can find two roots. So, under the matrices, when you are finding the roots for the characteristic equation, that roots are called eigenvalues. Hope is it clear to you all. That is, finding eigenvalues means, after find out the characteristic equation, we have to solve that equation, we can get the solution. That solutions are called roots. Under the matrices, that roots are called eigenvalues of a given matrix. Now, here we have taken a matrix A is equal to 8 minus 6, 2, minus 6, 7, minus 4, 2, minus 4, 3. For this matrix, first we need to find the characteristic equation. So, as I told you already, uh, that finding characteristic equation, that video link is given in the description box. You can refer that how to find out uh, characteristic equation for a given matrix. So, as I told you already that if it is a 3 by 3 matrix, the characteristic equation is lambda cube minus c1 lambda square plus c2 lambda minus c3 equal to 0. So, c1 is nothing but sum of diagonal elements. So, here the diagonal elements are 8, 7 and 3. So, 8 plus 7 plus 3 totally 18. C1 equal to 18. And C2 is equal to C2 is equal to sum of minus of the diagonal. Sum of minus of the diagonal. So, the first element is 8. Corresponding row and column we can omit and take the first one minor. 7 minus 4 minus 4 3 plus second element is 7. So, the next minor is corresponding row and column we have to omit. Take the next one 8 2 2 3. And the last diagonal element is 3. Corresponding row and column we have to omit. Take the last minor as 8 minus 6 minus 6 7. So now you have to first multiply in the downward direction. 7 3 is or 21. When you are multiplying in the upward direction, we have to change the sign. Here it is minus 16, minus into minus plus. So we are supposed to write it as minus 16. Plus 8 3 is or 24 minus 4 plus 7 8 is or minus 36. So totally C2 is equal to C2 is equal to 45. And the last one is C3. C3 is nothing but determinant of the matrix 8 minus 6 2 minus 6 7 minus 4 2 minus 4 3. When you are expanding this, we can get the C3 answer as 0. C3 is 0. Therefore, the characteristic equation is from equation 1. Therefore, from 1, lambda cube minus C1. C1 is equal to 18 lambda square plus C2. C2 is 45. Here our C3 is 0, equal to 0. Therefore, lambda cube minus 18 lambda square plus 45 lambda equal to 0. Now, this is the characteristic equation. This equation only we are going to solve. So, here we can get the degree as 3 and the next one is 2 and 1. So, in all the three terms we have lambda. So, we can take the lambda outside, write the remaining lambda square minus 18 lambda plus 45 equal to 0. 
So this uh, lambda square minus 80 lambda plus 45 can be factorized. 45. So it can be written as 3 into 15. Here it is minus. So lambda into lambda minus 3 lambda minus 5 equal to 0. Therefore the roots are lambda equal to 0, lambda equal to 3 and lambda equal to 15. So these are the uh, roots of the uh, characteristic equation under the matrices these roots are called eigenvalues of the matrices this is the answer for this matrix there is an another method for finding the solution of this equation because it is a cubic equation we can go it by synthetic division In that synthetic division first we need to write the coefficient of lambda cube that is 1 then coefficient of lambda square is minus 18 lambda and coefficient of lambda is 45 there won't be any constant term so you can leave as it is now whenever we are doing the synthetic division we have to put this place as 0 and here we can check it out plus plus 1 minus 1 plus 2 minus 2 plus 3 minus 3 like that only so when you are taking 3 add these two elements we can get 1 multiplying these two we can get 3 add these two elements we can get minus 15 multiplying these two again we can get minus 45 adding these two we can get 0 that means what lambda equal to 3 is a eigenvalue lambda equal to 3 is 1 root so what are the remaining remaining is lambda square minus 15 lambda equal to 0 so lambda square minus 15 lambda equal to 0 in this one you can take lambda outside write the remaining lambda minus 15 equal to 0 therefore lambda equal to 0 comma lambda equal to 15 hence the roots are lambda equal to 0 3 and 15 in this method also we are getting the answer as lambda equal to 0 3 15 so any method you look at the both the method which one is easy for you you can follow that you can solve this method also or by synthetic division in this case you can do like this but in all the cases we can better and uh, advisable method is synthetic division this method you can follow so these are the roots here we, I have written the answer directly because already it's given in one video how to find out characteristic equation the link is given in the description box you can refer that the next video I will show you that how to find out the solution for a cubic equation using calculator also so that link also given in the description box you can refer that.